For the first time, we are hearing from the fired Little Rock police officer who shot and killed Bradley Blackshire. Charles Starks sitting down for his first ever interview with Fox 16's Mitch McCoy. And Mitch in studio now with what he had to say. Mitch. Yeah, Donna, good evening. Former officer Charles Starks telling me he knew on day one of the hearing that the Civil Service Commission would not give him his job back. He says he was disappointed because he says... He was hoping for an unbiased hearing, which he believes he did not get. Starks was fired in May on a policy violation for walking in front of Bradley Blackshire's car, which ended in deadly force. This happened back in February. Starks appealed the termination decision to civil service, which later upheld the city's decision to terminate. Starks and his lawyer now appealing that to circuit court. The former officer says everything he did that day was in response to Blackshire's actions. Do you feel like you did anything wrong that day? No. Uh, do I have an incredible amount of guilt? Uh, I have guilt that what I did uh, caused five children to not know their father growing up. Um, but. Had I not done what I'd done, my child would have never known me growing up. Stark says he thinks about the shooting every day, and there's hardly a minute that goes by that he doesn't think of it. We uh, had a big conversation with him, and there's much more to get to on our exclusive interview with former officer Charles Starks. I asked him if he thinks there's anything he could say that would change the hearts of the Blackshire family. If he believes he can be an officer in the city of Little Rock again, there's so much more to get to. You can hear it all tonight in our exclusive conversation on Fox 16 News at 9.